Okay, so this is an appeal on Donald Trump. Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Tommy. Hello, you. Hello. Hello. Tommy, how is it? You have been imprisoned in this prison. Now you are for the first time here. How do you feel? It, it's the first time I'm seeing it from this side. So I can remember walking out of here when I was freed. But when I was brought into this prison, I, I went into this jail and I left this jail and I only saw one other person. And that person was Julian Assange. And I, was, I, spent, I spent three months in total isolation, seeing no one. Now I know the damaging effect that had on me for just three months. So Julian Assange, with, with being in the embassy, he spelt, spent over a year. This prison is the UK's maximum security jail. There are only murderers, the, the highest level of murderers and terrorists are in this prison. Julian Assange, when I was in, because I was totally separated in my own isolation wing. So I had my own prison on my own. And where I had an exercise yard at the back, I'd come out on the exercise yard in a courtyard over the back of the prison. For 30 minutes a day, I'd walk around. Julian Assange's window was there. Julian so you could talk to him? So we could talk, we could talk from the square. Okay. He was not in the prison. He, when he was there, he was, he was on the healthcare wing. So he wasn't allowed to do all the other things our prisoners so how is his a constitution how is this whole his mental state so we had we had good discussions but after speaking to staff and sh and sp shouting there was another window over here with uh, someone in the yeah. hospital wing after shouting they said how how his mental health has deteriorated he was a mess a total mess now a total mess breakdown crying but that's totally to be expected i i, I know because i i only spent three months here in total isolation and it, I, isolation may sound easy if you sit on, if, it, 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 they know it's not. Yeah. And in fact, it, it's what I, I asked when I was in here. It's a fact, it's a medical fact that solitary confinement and isolation is mental torture. That's a fact. This man's committed no violence. He's not in here for a violent crime. He's not even proven to, to have committed a crime, okay? He spent over a year. Yeah. I hate to think the long lasting effect that his sentence so far would have had on that man. He, he wouldn't be human if he hadn't already been broken. And they know that. And that's why they were, when you're talking about his life and mental torture, he needs to be freed. And you're, you, I think it's great that you've come here as, uh, as a German politician. I've, I've watched what happened with his case and I expected Donald Trump to pardon him, to free him. I expected it. I think a lot of people expected it. Okay, so this is an appeal on Donald Trump. Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange, He's yeah. He's a political prisoner in a UK jail. And what is happening to him in that prison is not right. It's mental torture. And he has been forgotten as such. He's been forgotten. As I said, I remember shouting to him, I bring some baggage with what I do. But I remember saying, Julian, if you, I'll organise people. I'll organise the British public to come out on the streets. But... I know that for, I know that the amount of mail he must receive, which the, the prison guards told me in there that his is he has his own room as well of support he gets. But it's no good getting support when you're locked in a cell with no when I was talking to him, he he saw no way out. That's what he was saying. There's no that they don't ever want him to see daylight again. Tommy, thank you very much. No, thank, you. thank you. Keep fighting. Yeah, thanks, you too.